Hi there, this is Kelly Schaefer of TaskComplete.com and the creator of the Concierge Academy. And I'm stopping by today real quick because I often get asked um, from clients, potential clients, people that are considering our services, or people who are just new to concierge services in general. They always want to know how best to use a concierge or how best to delegate. So this week, by popular demand, I'm bringing back a list of five ways that you can potentially use a concierge service. Concierge are also personal assistants. We personally work with those that are overwhelmed and living in chaos, and we also work with seniors here locally in Bucks County. So today I'm actually going to go through five quick scenarios with you, and these are real scenarios that our team is out taking care of just this week. Uh, these are everything that I went over with our team in our little team meeting this week. And this gives you a better idea and understanding of how it is that we help our clients. So first we have a senior couple and they needed a lot of support at home. Um, the husband has recently been in the hospital and he's coming home soon. And the wife wanted to make the home a more open, clean and clutter free environment for him. So we've been working with that family for about two weeks now, tackling boxes and clutter that has accumulated after 40 years in their home. So that when he gets discharged from the hospital, he'll be able to be discharged into a safe environment. Now, of course, he'll have his own visiting nurses that'll come out and take care of him, but this is a way that we can help prepare the family for his return. Another client we have is another senior client, and sadly, she recently lost her driver's license because she is getting older, her memory is not very good, she can't see at night, and she's just not safe on the road. And quite frankly, she's not safe on the road for herself, but for other people as well. And it was really heartbreaking for her, but luckily, we had already been working with her, and she's built a relationship with her personal concierge, and. So the, the blow of losing her license is, is easier because she has somebody there that can be a resource for her as she begins to continue to navigate um, what her new normal is going to be. So we're there to help bring groceries, coordinate all her doctor's appointments and visits and her transportation when she needs to go out. And then we also coordinate with her daughter who lives states away, who can't always be here when she wants to. Another client that we're helping right now is a busy mom of three who's getting ready to put her home on the market and she's getting ready to move this spring. So for her, she needed a lot of support in purging and packing so that when the big move comes, she's not stressed out and just throwing stuff in boxes at the end of the day. And then because she lives locally, she'll be moving locally and she'll have us actually help unpack her on the other end. So that's two ways that that client's using us. One of our other clients is a dude. He's a very cool dude, but this cool dude tries to stay out of the doghouse. And what I mean by that is there have been occasions where he has forgotten very important birthdays. I'll never tell who it is, but this person has forgotten some very important birthdays. So what we do is we keep track of all of his birthdays on our calendar, and then we send gentle reminders telling him, oh, it's so-and-so's birthday. How can we help you this year? And we will often go out and buy gifts. We come up with creative ideas. We'll wrap them and we'll ship them out so that he doesn't ever end up in the doghouse again. And then another one of our clients is um, also a male client. And he too does not want to end up in the doghouse. So what he does is he actually has us handle over 80 of his clients uh, that he likes to keep correspondences and send correspondences to on a regular occasion. So he has taken all of the thought out of it. He's handed it all over to us and we maintain all of that for him. So anytime he needs to send out a thank you or a, you know, spring announcement to his, um, his work peers, he just has us handle it. We already have the list. It's already done and taken care of. He never even has to blink an eye anymore. So they were just five ways just this week uh, that we're helping, you know, better the lives and quality of life of our clients. So if you want to learn more about us, you can always find us at taskcomplete.com. 
And remember to say hi to Kelly and the team of Task Complete. Bye now.